My name is Carol Johnson, and I'm the Director of Community Programs here at the Johnson Foundation. And I'm delighted to welcome you this afternoon. I think we're all excited to learn where the University of Wisconsin Parkside is in terms of the new educator development program. We're very pleased that they were willing to come back to the Johnson Foundation and conduct this briefing this evening. I think a number of you were here last year when they presented <clears throat> the concept for a completely redesigned new, uh, new thinking kind of uh, approach to teacher education and professional development that will be offered at the University of Wisconsin Parkside. It's very exciting. They've been very creative in thinking of what our teachers of the future will really need to be highly effective educators for our children in this and the next century. So we're really excited that they're here. They shared you, with you last year, with all of us, the process and the vision that they hold for creating this program. The result of that work is a program that will have long lasting and positive impacts on southeastern Wisconsin, our students, and our educators. The bold decision that they made, and I think it was indeed a bold decision, to put into place a flexible, adaptable professional educator program. It will set Parkside apart from their peers and will demonstrate clearly their commitment to our community in this very new age of collaboration. And many people in Racine and in southeastern Wisconsin have been learning a lot about collaboration. And the exciting thing is to see the University of Wisconsin Parkside has marched full steam ahead in that spirit. I know we're eager to hear more about this framework and now, therefore, I am excited to introduce to you UW Parkside Provost and a generally sparkly wonderful person, <laughs> Dr. Terry Brown. She will begin this afternoon's session. Thank you, Carol, and thank you all for coming uh, to this community update uh, today on the creation of a new professional educator program at the University of Wisconsin Parkside. We have a full house once again this year, nearly 130 registrants for this annual update, which is an indication of the importance of the preparation of great teachers to the future vitality of our schools and our communities. Regardless of our occupation or role in the community, we all have a stake in the preparation of great teachers. I'm very pleased that so many people with diverse roles in the community are here today. We have local school district personnel, representatives from public and private schools in the region, local and state government workers and elected officials, business and community leaders, members of the local media, parents and citizens, higher education partners, and UW Parkside faculty and staff. It's vitally important to all of us and to the success of our initiative that we keep you informed of our progress in building a great new program for the training and professional development of teachers. Wing Spread is a fitting setting for our community update at, as it has been a convener of conversations about topics that are of utmost importance to our community. So before I go any further, I want to thank the Johnson Foundation at Wingspread for once again providing this perfect venue for our community update. We would like to thank Ashley Stake, Community Program Associate, for all her work in coordinating today's event. And then also, we're especially appreciative to Carol Johnson, the Director of Local and Regional Community Programs here at, at, at Wingspread. Carol's been a partner in this process since the very beginning, and she's always been willing to share her insights and enthusiasm for our in initiative. We have accomplished so much since our update a year ago. Last year, we likened the creation of a new teacher preparation program to the building of a new house. 
A year ago, we had a blueprint drawn up, but we had not started building. A year later, I'm pleased to report that we have laid a strong foundation and framed in the walls of our new house. We will be providing you today with a description of that framework that we've built. And in the coming year, we will be focused on the completion of a livable house with all the appropriate approvals so that in fall 2013, we can begin moving in. The building of a new teacher preparation program is part of a larger initiative at the University of Wisconsin Parkside in academic planning and curricular change. Through a faculty-led process, we have created a forward-looking academic plan that reassesses our curriculum to be sure that we are meeting the needs of today's students and the region that we serve. In April, the faculty gave their seal of approval to our plan, aiming high and making excellence inclusive, an academic plan to lead UW Parkside to 2020. The plan sets a high bar for achieving accident, ac academic excellence. I do that every time. <laughs> Accidental excellence. No, that's not what we're about. Academic excellence. I've got to change it around. And distinction across the disciplines with a focus on areas housed within four new colleges, arts and humanities, natural and health sciences, business economics and computing, and social sciences and professional studies, which is where uh, our future teacher preparation program will be housed. The initiative that you will hear about today has all the hallmarks of the kind of academic program that we believe will distinguish UW Parkside as an educational leader in the state and region. It is learner-centered, designed to serve the needs of the region, with an experiential learning component integrated throughout. UW Parkside graduates are ready to succeed on the job or in graduate school and as engaged citizens the day after graduation. That's a guarantee. Today, you will learn about how our new program was forged in collaboration with internal and external experts and stakeholders who contributed endless hours to bring forward an exciting, innovative program for training, preparing, and supporting future teachers. We will share how the program was designed to address specific challenges that are unique to K-12 settings today. It might be helpful before we begin to share a, a, just a note about terminology. Throughout the design process, we've been very intentional about the way we use language. We have thought that certain words like teacher and student are associated with a 20th century paradigm of education. They are words we are all comfortable with, but they conjure images, at least for me, of my fifth grade teacher in our classroom, students all in rows with the teacher at the head of the class. And the only technology in the room was an opaque projector. <laughs> words like educator and learner are more appropriate for the 21st century learner-centered paradigm. You will note as well that we use the word pathway rather than program for reasons that you will understand as you listen to our speakers. Many individuals have been involved in the planning and designing of this new program. So before introducing our speakers, I'd just like to ask everyone who's participated in this project, either on co the coordinating council or the de design teams, to stand. OK, thank you. And you'll note that you also have a handout of the people who have participated in this. We're also pleased to have Dr. John McGarris with us again this year. John came out of retirement to help us get our new program started, and we've asked him to be with us again this year to participate in our panel discussion. John, thank you. So now it's my honor to introduce our speakers for today. Vicki Brown Gurley is a member of the University of Wisconsin Parkside Coordinating Council, which oversees the creation of the Professional Educator Development Program. She is the Assistant Superintendent of Teaching and Learning for Kenosha Unified School District. She has over 25 years of experience at all levels of education, from first grade to college, and she has provided leadership in the area of principal pe preparation. She is currently a candidate for a PhD from the University of Illinois, Chicago, in the area of cur curricular design. Her area of research is on effective urban school leadership. Pat Hoffman has had 40 years as a public school educator. She has taught elementary, high school, college, and graduate school. 
She worked for 13 years in Kenosha Unified School District as a teacher and as a building level administrator, and 23 years as the assistant superintendent for Burlington Schools. She is currently serving as the executive director of the Office of Teacher Preparation and Professional Development at the University of Wisconsin Parkside. Maureen Carvan has been involved with the reform of the education system since 1983, the year that A Nation at Risk, the Imperative for Educational Reform, was published. The report was a landmark moment in the history of education in the United States. For nearly 30 years, Maureen has worked in the field of education as an urban middle school science teacher and as a university faculty member with expertise in curriculum and instruction. She has also held leadership positions in the Ohio Department of Education and the Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction and is a member of the NCATE Board of Examiners. She is currently an academic planner in the Office of Teacher Preparation and Professional Development at the University of Wisconsin Parkside. And Dr. Debbie Ford is Chancellor of the University of Wisconsin Parkside, and she is one of only three college presidents serving on a 41-person National Commission on Standards and Performance Reporting for the Council for the Accreditation of Education Preparation, the new professional accreditation organization for teacher education programs in the United States. So now, let's hear from our first speaker, Vicki Brown-Gurley.